Although the Daleks looked entirely robotic, they were, in fact, cyborgs, with a living body encased in and supported by an armed and mobile outer shell of Daleconium and polycarbide protective metal armor. These were Mark III travel machines, designed to carry their mutant forms, and they were not truly integrated biomechanoids. Audio. The four doctors, in this respect, they were somewhat similar to a Cyberman. Unlike them, however, the Daleks' bodies had mutated so drastically from their Kald ancestors they had lost all humanoid appearance, save for one eye, see below. TV. The Daleks. Evolution of the Daleks. The Daleks transmitted information using a sort of artificial telepathic network known as the Pathweb. TV. Asylum of the Daleks, which the Twelfth Doctor would later state to be the biggest database. TV. Twice upon a time, Daleks did not die naturally, every cell being genetically hardwired with an impulse to keep on living. TV. The witch is familiar, even if they were chopped to pieces and left buried for centuries away from their casings. TV. Resolution. However, they did age, the body decaying further and further, eventually reaching a point where it was little more than mewling, hateful sludge of dark brownish color. Incapable of steering their armor, such decayed Daleks would exit them and confine themselves to the sewers of Dalek cities, for which reason the Dalek word for, sewer, was also their word for, graveyard. TV. The witch is familiar. One Dalek creature remained alive even as it was dissected by the scientist Bryant Anderson. Prose. We are the Daleks. The Daleks had a strong association with static electricity. Not only were their casings powered by it at some points in their history, TV, the Daleks, the Dalek invasion of Earth, but newly bred Kald mutants were brought to life by a static shock before they were put into their casings, and the second doctor once explained that static was like blood to the Daleks. TV, the power of the Daleks. Theodore Max Stiebel's attempts to involve static electricity in his experimental time travel resulted in his time machine prototype summoning Daleks across time. TV. The evil of the Daleks. During the dalek Movellan War, the Daleks, to better understand the Movellans, briefly re-engineered themselves into quasi-robotic creatures, dispensing entirely with organic matter. Pros. Dalek Combat Training Manual. After this led to a centuries-long stalemate. TV. Destiny of the Daleks, the Daleks return to their organic roots. Prose. Dalek. The astounding untold history of the greatest enemies of the universe. During the last Great Time War, the Daleks discovered the ability to use Artron energy leached from other time travelers to enact a similar process of regeneration to the Time Lords. This would allow the Dalek to repair its casing as well as heal its inner organic body. However, this process was still primitive by the time the destruction of Gallifrey by the Doctor. Pros. Dalek. It also caused the Dalek to absorb DNA from the time traveler it had used to power its regeneration, beginning to mutate and thus deviated from the Dalek baseline, which was unacceptable for a Dalek. TV. Dalek. Davros later organized an experiment, whereby he siphoned huge amounts of actual regeneration energy and transmitted it to every Dalek on Skaro. Immediately after their collective regeneration, the Daleks acknowledged that they were now, more powerful, deeming the experiment a success. TV. The Witch is Familiar.